Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> So since Valeska's unbelievable research and uh, <laughs> learning a bit more about Tawag and how it happened and one of the earliest champions in Nora Aunur, uh, very cool that also everyone now on YouTube is like checking out some of her work, which is class. This is so freaking um, low, please don't, don't. So like I, I saw a lot of like vocal coaches now look back on some of the videos that we checked out, which, which is I class. Which I think is so freaking dope. Um, because... She's it's awesome. It's interesting as well to hear what other people had to say as yeah. well, like uh, their analysis. So I thought we would check out a, perf a performance that's a bit more recent than the ones we watched. It's still like 30 years Says old. Says Efra 30 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> but I thought we would progress up until like the early 2000s and maybe up until today. I don't know if she's still singing. I know she got very into acting mm -hmm. uh, later on, but this is 1993 and she's going to sing Akoi Ang Iyong Inai. Mm -hmm. Superstar. Superstar. She had already been a... Okay. Oh, at that point. She has the superstar yeah. label. At that point, she had already been a superstar for like 20 years. Yeah. No. Ringo Marquez, kasama po ang ensemble of strings, Miss Nora Honor. Oh, Nora, he says. Classic OPM. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, Ooh very mature larynx we got here. So subtle. Range. That's a good example of demanding to be heard through subtlety. Oh, yeah. And it's done through diction. An amazing grounding. No, she's not. There's shebang. no need. There's she, no shebang. She is she a She demands shebang. respect and to be heard yes. through subtlety. Yes. And I actually think this is, in comparison to the video that we watched first, right? Like it's her Earlier integration. In her career, yeah. yeah. Her, her introduction to, to the whole sh music business. Industry, yeah. um, you, you really see this, this growth. That you've seen somebody settled. Yeah. Somebody who's not desperate to be heard, but also somebody who will teach you something. Like it's there to yeah. show you something. Like, At this point, she's also fairly young. Like she's not, she's not. But there is such it's like a regal. Or 20 something. But there's such a regal posture yeah. and like composure to her. That's well, ten amazing. years in the industry will do that to you. So, oh, yeah, yeah, she definitely. was 16 when we checked her out, right? Yes, so yes. 26, that will do that to you. She also acts through song really well, like so <laughs> damn. It's fabulously. No, no question she went into acting. Fairly difficult song as well, the phrasing. It's a very hard song. <laughs> oh, such beautiful I, tenderness. I God. think also, you know, you know, in this era, in the 90s and late 80s, in the Filipino music industry, so you, you were getting the Sharon Cunetas, right? Yeah. Kicking correct. ass. And obviously Regine, and you were getting uh, Jaya. And, and you... Pilita Corrales was still totally oh, but hitting. Pilita Corrales the... was deep, though. Yeah, deep yeah, in her yeah. career already there but by the 90s. Um, yeah. But I think acting through song was 
was the style. I think especially so through too. ballads. It, it wasn't just this is a ballad. Yeah. This is a ballad that was yours, and you must enact, yeah, no, you reenact must, yeah. the emotions of the lyrics. I, I also feel like at this, uh, I don't know if this is correct to to the time in the Philippines, but a lot of uh, in in South America and Venezuela, for example, the the balladeers, the people that sang this like heartbroken songs and stuff, were interpreters. They they would be giving the songs, and they their their responsibility was to and act and, right. and, and and encompass the the emotion with the song correctly so that that was what made the songs really popular that the emotion was really connected to the the song itself but if 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 the same idea of the same concept was done in the philippines it wouldn't surprise me that the composer would have chosen her as the vessel to Ringo portray ah, the, the composer yeah there we go that, that i'm makes... trying to, i was trying to find the Lyrics translated, nothing. It's so natural. Oh, but those falsettos. Actually, go back to that, because I want to talk about it. So phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal! It's so great, but oh, also it's so correct to the style because in this, in our take, in our contemporary take today, 2023, this song in that moment, which she flips into that falsetto, would have been taken as a belt. Would it, the the natural progression of that would have been very grounded because she's flipped fairly grounded throughout the whole song. She's on that lower range. She demands attention because she is so well adjusted, so well grounded there. So when she flips into that falsetto and maintains that subtlety, but nevertheless still maintaining the vulnerability of the emotion, it's freaking mind blowing. How does she do that? I have no idea because it doesn't lose weight. It doesn't lose purpose that's right which in in a falsetto quality a lot of the times you can lose some of that weight you can lose some of that um uh yeah some of that grounding well, that you find in your in, in in your chest by definition by definition that is a falsetto right the Correct. sacrifice of a it's like the sacrifice of chesty depth voice yeah. for range correct right. correct and what a touch what a touch It's a so, dress as well. It's so effortless. <laughs> That's the most open we've heard her. Yeah. It maintains that falsetto approach. a big track bro oh, oh and what so, a vibe dude. yeah definitely it's such a constant song though very fatiguing it's non-stop this damn song Take the 
Jesús este día. This song is a marathon, bro. It's a big time. That's, that was that was a, a beltier approach. She's to that song. It took her a hard minute to get out of that emotion. Yeah. Oh, and she still maintains that serenity. What Come a gentle, on. Like. What a gentle soul. Yeah. Dude. But again, she, she commands respect for her subtlety. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. How a gentle, fabulous! It's like a gentle gesture, maybe, you know, may say so much more. Yes. And be so much more memorable than a loud one sometimes. And yes. uh, she is such a great example of that. Especially in music. You, you also, such a wonderful mastery of micro expressions throughout the whole of the acting through songs. Yeah, she's a, she's a damn good actress. You can yes, tell why yes. people really fell in love with her work, both musically and then uh, movies wise. I think at some point it would be great to sort of check out a, a few scenes or even, mm -hmm. you know, one of her movies or she did series, I think. Or I, I think she did so a, lo good. a lot of movies. Um, very intriguing, very cool. Also, I think it's the first time we check out Ringo Marquez. That's right, that's um, right, as a composer. Mm -hmm. So let, let us know what you guys thought about it. And if there are other performances that you'd like us to check out from her, more than happy to do so. Or any other sort of legendary voices that have shaped the Filipino music industry for what it is now, uh, we'd be more than happy to review those as well. Definitely. Goodbye. Goodbye.